Hi, my name is Nawus Pechalski and I really wish that the phrase and you will learn something today was not taken already by the ritual Bradwell. So instead, and let's learn something today. Betaflight 4.0 was released only a few days ago and with Betaflight 4.0 some, some of the defaults changed and right now you have the item relax enabled all the time. Item Relax is with us since like Beta Flight 3.4 and everybody knows because it's a public knowledge that it's something worth turning on to settings RP and then it helps you do a nice rolls or uh, how's the other yeah fun, fast maneuvers without the characteristic bounce back because it's a great thing but somehow nobody really e ever explained uh, how the uh, item relax is working, why it's good, what it's doing, and uh, like, not, never really explained why and how and if you really should do it. Over the last week I kind of um, learned how it works and uh, why it works and why you should have it on because I ported the item relax into the INAV. So the INAV 2.2 will have the item relax enabled and it will be great. So today, today everything you really have to know about the item relax on uh, let's say layman terms. First of all, what's the item? Item is one of the components of the pit controller that is really looking into a past. It how it works, it accumulates the error over time. If, for example, uh, the quadcopter in our case is slightly heavier on the left side and it's rolling constantly to the left, the item will accumulate enough of this error. You don't want this to roll, but it's rolling. It will accumulate enough to make the left side motor spin slightly faster. So it's not rolling. It corrects the all the imbalance, uh, slow appearing forces, corrects the wind and stuff like that. Corrects the external conditions that are not really changing very rapidly. And usually it works great. It looks really fantastic and as long as you are really flying s relatively slow, you're not doing anything crazy behind the sticks, the item as a pure accumulator of the error works just fine. The problems Problems kind of appear when you are trying to fight the physics. Something called the inertia. And not only the inertia. If you are trying to roll or pitch your quadcopter or an aeroplane or hexa, whatever, slightly, slightly faster, the actual movement of the rotation speed of the thing will be always slightly behind the stick command because the motor has to have to spin up, or the inertia has to be the... Um, neutralized by the, the, the extra forces giving on the motor, so it will work slow. It will start to re always, it will always respond slightly slower than the speed input. And if the error is big enough, the item will start to grow. Will start to grow above the values that are really required to keep the stable fight, flight. So if you wanted to do the 160 roll right, yeah, the P term and the D term, usually mostly the P term, will rotate you, but at the end of the movement, when you will release the sticks, the item will be winded up. There will be just too much of the item, and because it's too much and you will really need only a little of the item to keep the stable flight, it will have to be unloaded. How? By slightly rolling to the other side. This will be this characteristic either follow through of the bounce back and the end of the rapid maneuvers. This is happening when the item was allowed to grow too much because uh, the motors are too weak or the inertia is too much or you are just too fast behind the stick or you have too much eye gain or whatever, whatever there is. Every time the item is allowed to grow too much, you will have this bounce back or follow through this slow, slowish oscillation at the end of the fast maneuver. And we don't want that. We don't want that. This is why the 
iTerm has to be limited. The simplest limitation of the iTerm is just the solid, the constant limit. But it's not really solving all the problems because you will still have this uh, bounce back or the wobble at the end of the maneuver. Previous versions uh, of the beta flight were using the limiting based on the stick command. Now, starting since the beta flight 3.4, we have the iTerm relax. What the iTerm relax does? Mm, it limits how much iTerm can change depending on this how fast you move the stick. So the faster the move the stick the more limiting of the iTerm you have. It's not allowed to grow too much at the fast movement of the stick. So it's not allowed to grow when you start a fast roll because the you are just beginning to move the stick and the inertia is keeping everything uh, not rotating. So it will not really grow when you start and it will only grow slightly, slightly later whenever the physics will be able to catch up with your, with your requirements. And then when you release quickly release the stick, it will also not be allowed to uh, change very, very, very rapidly. As a result, as a result, we have a situation when the we have this dynamic limiting in the moments when the uh, item was usually winding up on the beginnings and on the ends of the fast maneuvers. It's great. It's great. It's fantastic. How it's made internally? Internally, uh, very simple. It's a low pass filter. It's a low pass filter. We have we ke we keep the track of the stick and also the track of the low pass filter that when you start the movement the difference between the current position of the stick and the stick position put through the low pass filter will be let there will be a difference and the bigger the difference between the actual position and the position in the low pass filter the bigger ten of the attenuation of the change of the item will be this means that you actually can tune uh, the item relax the the cutoff frequency frequency of the of the item relax the lower you will set the cutoff frequency then for the longer period of time item will be limited to change during the fast the beginnings and end of the maneuvers and the higher you put the frequency of the item relax the the shorter will be the window of time where the limitation is really happening. Default is, I, if I remember correctly, 20 Hz is great for the 5 inch mini quads. If you are flying slightly something slightly bigger, then maybe you can like lower this to, I don't know, 15. But this is really has to be tested. I never really tested everything on the 7 inch. So let's, let's assume that the original 20 Hz is just good enough. Also, there are four different types in the beta flight of the item relax. We have the RP, RPY, RP ints and RPY ints. What's the difference? R stands for roll and P stands for pitch. So, and Y, y of course stands for yaw. That means all the RPs are applied on the roll and pitch while all the RP Ys are applies on all three axes, on roll, pitch and yaw. With the yaw it's always slightly different because of how the yaw control works and um, it might give, let's say, strange things with the yaw. So it's not really recommended to use without really testing the RPY setting. And what's the ink? Ints e I and C at the end of the, of the type of the uh, item relax. It's the... Ink version are only not allowing to grow, are only limiting the grow of the item, while the the lower ink of the item in those versions is fully fine. It can just go slower without any limitation. The last setting of the item relax is the algorithm time. You have a choice of choosing the set point or the gyro. What's the difference? It's a difference on what is really tracked during the 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 algorithm of the item relax. With gyro, it's of course gyro and setting the gyro gives you more or less freestylish feel because the response will be, let's say, slightly smoother while the set point tracks the actual movement on your stick and it's more or less, mm, let's say, suited for the racer when the smoothness is not really uh, required and all you need on the races is that the drone really 
keeps your keeps your line. So there's a difference. There's a difference. If you are using this mostly for racing and just having a lot of fun on the fast track or, or around the tree, then set point probably is an option for you. And if you are a more of a freestyler and you just want smooth flight with um, amazing figures in the air, that may be a gyro. And at the end, what what do we have thanks to the item relax? We can push item much higher than before without the risk of the wind up of the item and this, this unfortunate rollback follow through this, this, this bounce back on the end of the maneuver. How much? How much more can we have on the item gains with the relaxation enabled? Some say that even up to 50%, that means on the mini quad probably it will be still just fine to have the eye gains of around 60, maybe even 70. And that's really cool because we're gonna have really locked in during the flight, the, it will really keep the, the line we chosen. And when we'll be, let's say, having a lot of fun rolls and, and stuff like that, it will not allow the eye term to grow. So, yeah. INF 2.2 will have item relaxed. Yeah! Okay, and I think that's all for today. I hope I explained this uh, deep enough and simple enough. And if you want the more technical explanation of what's happening, then please visit the UAV Tech. The link is there in the description when he does those very, very longish videos about all the technicalities that are happening inside of the Betaflight. And that's really all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.